show you guys how we do this palette painting. So I look what I did. I took some white buttercream and I made three different colors of um, green to go around and it doesn't matter. You don't even have to wipe this off each time. You just take a little bit of it on the pointed palette knife and just spread this way. I'll take a little bit of a different color up here like that. And it's gonna create the grass that goes around. Now, once all of this is covered, I'll go around with some colors and just kind of emphasize, maybe go up a few uh, in different places. And then I'll take this, which I've pre-made into a dark green and I'll do stems and then I'll put the daisies on. So I'll come back when I get to that point and I'll show you guys how that works, okay? So I've taken this and you shove it all down to the bottom and I like to twist it and wrap it around like this, okay? Just twist it so it doesn't zhuzh back up in the bag. And then you're just gonna start somewhere and it doesn't even matter where. You're just gonna start and you're gonna slowly, boom. And you can just, you know, you can put a daisy over that or you can do a leaf. You can come out from there and do a little leaf. Can you see it? Sorry. You can do little leaves and color those in with your palette knife or with the tip, just like that. And then I'll put a daisy there. Actually, let me do one and I'll show you what that's like in a few minutes. But you're gonna kind of go around the cake and do little stems, different shapes. You can start them in different places and you just kind of want to go up the cake. See, and just pick spots and we'll do this one that'll branch off into this one and see so i'll go around the cake and i'll put some stems on and then we'll attach the daisies we, you can see here where we've done all of our little stems and some leaves and some things all right now we're going to fill a piping bag with a little bit of vanilla so that we can attach our um, daisies. And I wanted to show you how to fill a piping bag. So I've cut a tiny little hole, which you can do after you put the buttercream in, but I just did it before. So two ways you can fill a piping bag. You can fold it down like this and put it over your hand, right? And then put the buttercream in. Or the way I like to do it, it makes it easier for me is put it over a cup where it fits Take, you don't need a whole lot for this. You're just gonna put it in there and you wanna shove it down in there. That's probably all I'm gonna need for this. I'll pull it back up and then you just take this and pull it down and pull it down. Now this part's easier to do once you've cut the hole because the air, it allows the air to come out. If you do this part without cutting the hole first, you're gonna have a problem. So just cut the hole and make it small. See, see that's gonna be a tiny little zhuzh. See? All right, now we're gonna come over here. Now I've already pre-made all these daisies out of fondant and that's why you hear the dehumidifier going because dudes, fondant in the keys, woo! She, a big old learning curve. So I've pre-made these. Now if your daisies, daisies, if any of your fondant ever sticks to the stuff, see, now this is a cup that's meant to do this. See, it's got on the bottom and sometimes they'll stick. So you turn it over and you gently, gently Tap that, and then there's your daisy. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so we're gonna attach our first daisy. We're gonna put a little bit of buttercream right on the back of it. See a little zhuzh like that of buttercream. And you're gonna pick where this one's gonna go. It's a big one, so I want it to be here where it's gonna be, and then you just, boom. Isn't that pretty? Okay, and now I've got all the rest of these daisies, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and make magic, and I'll show you what the final product looks like, okay? Up until a little while ago, I, I would have thought, okay, we're done. But now I've discovered this amazing, it's called diamond dust, all right? This is what it looks like. And I thank the ladies at um, Baker's World in Orlando, which is like my favorite cake store ever. And they hooked me up with this little gig right here. And it's a little, you put some of this diamond dust in here and then watch what happens. Look at that. Come on, can you see the glitter? You might not could see it because um, of the lighting, but you just spray this a little bit wherever you go. Shake it up a little more. 
and then you get these really pretty glittery effects on the cake. See? All right. To make one, I want you to post pictures of it and uh, tag our page. I totally made that, okay? Because you can totally make this, okay?